Welcome back to NBC3 News at 5. Here's your health checkup tonight. Well, if you have trouble seeing, you are not alone. But now researchers have come up with a way to predict who will need glasses by looking at kids when they're young. We went digging for answers to find out how it works. So far away. Sorry, Lammy. Four-year-old Amelia Demise loves nothing more than watching her favorite cartoons on TV. No, I can't even cuddle it. But she does it with a little help. Do you like wearing your glasses? Yeah. It was, it's this eye. Yes. It's the right. Amelia was just an infant when she was diagnosed with astigmatism, leaving her farsighted and unable to see close up. That's in the pink glasses. I'd say about nine months, I noticed that her eyes, when she looked at you, would go in, her, her right eye would go in quite a bit. That's when her mother Elizabeth knew something was wrong. Doctors told her to patch the eye to strengthen it and get glasses. That's why I wear up every day and because I have to see all of them. What's your favorite color? Green. Green. Pink, purple, green. She has a pair in every color and she isn't alone. Across the country, many children are left with eyesight problems from an early age. And while Amelia has trouble seeing close up, many others are left unable to see far away. I think that nearsightedness is, is a growing problem in, in our country. Dr. Stephen Merriam says about 40% of people in North America are nearsighted. And while we don't know what causes it, a new study suggests a child's vision in first grade can predict whether they'll become nearsighted by middle school. Now researchers think they've come up with a simple formula for predicting which children will need glasses by then, measuring how farsighted they are by age six. And while glasses may be the only way to correct it, there is something you can do to try to prevent it. There have been recent studies that have shown that people that are outside more, populations of people that are outside more have less incidence of nearsightedness than people that are inside more. No, we never even left. There was For kids like Amelia Demise, glasses are just part of who she is. She thinks they're cool and her guy friends at school think they're cool too. Wearing them proudly and taking compliments everywhere she goes. Uh, yeah, what do you say? Um, thanks for loving them. Do a lot of people say Yeah, a lot of people she, love her glasses. She's adorable. Isn't she cute? Yeah. yeah, and she doesn't ever want to take them off. She does great with them. Good. Now, periodic eye exams and vision exams are really key to detecting problems early on. So if you notice your child squinting or straining to see, their eye turning in, or if they're sitting too close to the TV, that can be a big sign. Contact your doctor right away. And obviously there's some remedies that can really help them out. That's right. Still ahead, new at 6 tonight. The deadly train accident in Philadelphia has...